Mike Tyson returned to the ring Saturday night in England, but as expected, Julius Francis had no chance. The Brit went down five times in just two rounds before the referee stopped the fight. Despite off American soil since losing to Buster Douglas in 1990, Mike Tyson looked like his former self, knocking down Julius Francis five times and winning by TKO 63 seconds into the second round. The former heavyweight champ improved to 47 and 3 with 41 KOs. Well, at the very least, Mike Tyson proving that a good part of the world has yet to tire of his act. And yet the former heavyweight champ hasn't had a clean, convincing win since March of 1996. Saturday night, the former heavyweight champion taken on a man who sold advertising space on the bottom of his shoes. Not a good sign. Manchester, England, Tyson, and Julius Francis. Now, this is a fighter who lost four out of five rounds to Franz Botha and was very sloppy in one round against Orlin Norris. But here, first round, Tyson winging nasty power shots to the body of Julius Francis. Francis kept getting up, kept getting knocked back down. Again, Francis, a fighter, unable to keep him away. But in the second round, down he goes again. Five knockdowns in the fight, TKO in the second. Even if it's against Francis, it's finally a clean win without controversy. Five knockdowns in four minutes and three seconds. What, if anything, did you prove tonight? I gave the mirror great advertisement. <laughs> I don't know. I just um, didn't really last long enough to really make the assumption. But I just um, I'll keep on trying. I'll continue to fight more and more and continue to cultivate and hopefully fight for the title at the end of the year. The 10th anniversary of your loss to Buster Douglas is coming up in just a few days. How far away are you, do you think, from regaining that title you lost in Tokyo? Um, not too far. I guess if I have to continue to stay active and stay consistent and consistent in my um, endeavors to uh, capture the heavyweight championship, you should ask Buster how far is he from regaining that championship. <laughs> European vacations are never the same. For Clark Griswold, it was just one embarrassment after another. For Mike Tyson, an ego trip of the highest proportions. The former heavyweight boxer, heavyweight champion boxer, his two-week stint in England produced $34 million in business, according to one report. Even his Saturday night opponent, Julius Francis, made some extra dough. The Mirror, a national newspaper, paid to advertise on the bottom of Francis's shoes. Huh? Smart move, don't you think? The British champion? Hey, he has no shame. Yeah, why not? I get knocked out. I make a few extra grand, and then some. Mike Tyson, his first ever fight in Europe. Under 50 seconds left in the first round after exchange on the ropes. Tyson knocks Francis down for the second time in the first round. So, Ty so Francis down, Tyson coming back with some more. Look at the bulldog mentality, and I love the dreads. Third knockout of the second round. Fight stopped at 103 in the second, and so Tyson makes a smashing European debut, 41st knockout. 47th victory of his career. He says he is ready for undisputed heavyweight champion Lennox Lewis, but that fight likely won't happen until next year. Tyson told Nick Charles immediately after the win that he would love to fight his next several fights overseas. Standing in Mike Tyson's dressing room with Mike Tyson, who put on a riveting performance, four minutes and three seconds. Mike, how happy are you? Um, I wish I could have put on a better performance, which would have went a little longer. Um, I guess it would be better next time. You know, you showed us the full arsenal, though. Hooks, crosses, up and down. You knocked him down with those punches, the body shot. Were you surprised when he got up and came out for the second for second round? No, I didn't think he would have come out. I thought they should have stopped the fight. In America, they would have been stopped the fight. How would you rate your performance, Mike? Yeah, I'm all right. You know, I got a ways to go. When did you know this was your night? The, the moment I signed the contract. <laughs> Well, tell us about, you know, the bell rings, your adrenaline's just pouring, you're pumped. But again, you put it together. You didn't get ahead of yourself. You weren't as wild. What's coming together? I was a little reckless, but um, in time, I have, like you said, I had a few fights within probably 14 fights within 10 years. And I'm, I'm doing my best. I'm trying. It'll get there one day. Well, Mike, you showed us the lost art of body punch, punching and body shots. Was that the game plan? Yes. And how'd you break him down then? If you could just take us through these four minutes. I was just basically thinking about hitting him around the body and hoping he'd collapse. You rated your performance here in the ring. Now, rate your performance in England here for two weeks. Uh, no, I just had a good time, and I appreciate um, the, um, the whole adulation that the people in England gave me, and I'm just humbled, really. And Mike, how anxious are you to get back home to your family? Um, I wish they were here yesterday. I wish I could have saw them. I was too bad. I, I was, went to the airport to see where they did, but they couldn't make it. They missed the flight, and um, 
I just wish I could see them. I miss my children so bad. What about the importance of staying in the ring now, staying busy? Shelly Finkel, your manager, thinks it's essential. Tommy right. Every two months, every six weeks, and um, hopefully something good happens at the end of the project. So give me the game plan, Mike. For chart the territory for the next year. What's the plan? Shelly, huh? <laughs> There were three major fights going on in Manchester this weekend, and compared to the one between Mike Tyson and Julius Francis, the other two looked more uncertain than the Super Bowl. Of course, Gore versus Bradley and Bush versus McCain were taking place in Manchester in New England, while the fight for the heavyweight championship of the world, ex-con division, was taking place in Manchester in Old England. If Gore or Bradley or Bush or McCain could score as quick and easy a knockout as Tyson scored, the presidential race might be over in January. Tyson should be the one thing he never is, ashamed of himself for fighting a man who had lost more times than Harold Stassen. <laughs> Stassen lost to Dewey, Eisenhower, Nixon, Goldwater, Ford, and Reagan. But at least, unlike Julius Francis, Stassen could have been a contender. While the bleary-eyed, ink-stained wretches of the media were wrapping up their pre-Super Bowl stories last night in Atlanta, guess who drops in the lounge of their workroom but Muhammad Ali. Not to make a prediction on the game, but just in time to catch the first round of Mike Tyson's latest fight. Ali shadow boxed through the first round and then left. Tyson worked a little bit harder than that. Not much. Just a little. His entrance, <laughs> Manchester, England, for his fight with Julius Francis, hoping for maybe the first uncontroversial victory in nearly four years. First round under a minute remaining. Tyson has Francis near the ropes, and down goes Francis. Down goes Francis, twice in the first round. Then in the opening minute of the second, more solid body shots. Francis goes down again and again and again. The stop, fight stopped after one minute of the second round. In four minutes, five. Five knockdowns. About 21,000 watched Mike Tyson destroy a much lesser opponent in England last night. Tyson knocked down Julius Francis five times before recording a TKO in the second round.